Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Ramesha Patel and today in this video I'm going to show you how to create a cascading filter or the dependent filter. So before we start our today's uh, with our sample data, uh, let's first understand what exactly the cascading filters are. So far by default whenever you create a filter or you give more flexibility to the user it always uh, are independent to each other. So there is no connection. But when you try to create a dependency in between the filter, then that is called the cascading filter or the dependent filter. So basically, if I say in a layman terms, when a user select any particular value in filter one, then that filter one selection causing an impact on filter two, where filter two limit its value uh, in display or it will show only the relevant values as per the other choice on the filter one selection. So that's how a kind of a dependency created in between the filters. So that's why we call it this as a cascading filter. But to keep in mind, this cascading filter works only for the dimension field, or I would say as a categorical field, or in other words, it will be called as qualitative fields. So don't try with the measured field. Another thing is cascading filter in that uh, you just have to make sure that the level of the filters that you want to create the dependency should not go beyond three or more filters. If beyond then it creates a kind of a problem in Tableau but I would say like max would you should use it at three at the level that three filters are showing a dependency beyond that don't try to use it uh, you know it's just um, uh, a kind of real experience real world experience whenever you do uh, and you see how the performance um, on the tableau it works so based on that okay my experience i'm saying okay all right so let's uh, create our cascading filter on the sample data here i'm using the auto insurance based sample data where i have this region and state in as a dimension field and based on that i'm going to create here the cascading filters these are the rest of uh, related to that uh, auto insurance measured field so uh, here i'll drag the state field and put it on the rows so all these uh, states are belonging to the u.s state um, united states of america and in the cascading filter what i want is this region should be the filter one so drag this region and put it into the filters and here select all and click on apply okay and from this more option i'll select show filter so this is how your region first that's a filter is giving you that this is a our filter one so i'll just uh, just for your understanding oops not this Edit the title and here I'll write filter one. Okay, so you'll get the idea. Now the next thing is the state uh, field. So drag this field and put it again into the filters. Uh, all and apply and okay. And here uh, go to this more option and select show filter and just rearrange it. I'm putting in just this region filter one as on the top. And I'll again add the title and here I'll name it as filter 2 which is obvious but still it's better that you guys don't uh, get confused over it so once you do you find that okay what about the ABC what I'll do is I'll just drag simply this full coverage okay and full coverage are in this numbers um, okay from this more option go to the format and here I'll change it and make it currency zero zeros remove okay we are good now all right, so that is about our view right now. But what, mainly what I'm trying to make you understand is, right now, if I just uncheck this, um, as it's a filter in state we have defined, if I select the far west, it is giving you the state. But what, is there any kind of a connection is showing between the filter one and filter two? No, right now they are independent. They are not dependent. They are still showing for rest of the other values, even if the user select what, you know if any selection it does not giving any impact to this filter too but we want a kind of a dependency in this filtration that only that based on the specific value only alaska california hawaii nevada uh oregon uh, washington should show here in the filter state so for that 
go to this more option in the state filter that is in filter 2 and here from this all values now make it only relevant value now what see this magic that how this filter 1 and filter 2 have kind of created a dependency if i uncheck this far west it will not show anything on the state field but let's say if i check uh, check on this great lakes it will show illinois indiana michigan uh, ohio what uh, wisconsin so that's how this cascading filters work i hope you like this video if you really like then do like share and subscribe to my channel for more such video Till then, happy learning!